Hi, good morning. Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. Well, it's been a while, I feel. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. September 15th. There is so much going on this weekend that, I mean, I am going to really try to get it all in. I'm super excited about this weekend. The moon is in Cancer, okay, today, still in Cancer. So we're still feeling a little like homey and um, we want to be content. The moon is going to square your honest and Jupiter today. So rebellion is in the air. You most likely will not want to go to work today. And you're happy doing unconventional activities. Oh, what am I going to do today? I know. I'll go ride some wild llamas. I think they have a place to do that around here. Hmm. Whatever that might be. Um, you may want, you, you want to be freed from all responsibility, pretty much. So in work, in relationships, anything that's trying to tie you down or restrain you, you're just going to want to like flee from and rebel. It's a good energy. So go out, be social, connect with good people, good friends and loved ones and enjoy being alive. Be careful not to lower your standards in relationships though too. also opposes Pluto. So things will most likely come up from the past and be revealed. And the moon is looking at Venus ahead, conjunct the North Node, and it's seeing clearly where it's heading and is feeling hopeful for the future. Oh, she's beautiful. Let's go get married. This is a cause for celebration for all your hard work that you've been putting in. So see your bright future more clearly and you're excited about all the new opportunities that are opening up for you. So that's exciting. So there's going to be like a lot of uh, reasons to celebrate. Hence my party hat, my party hat, my party hat, I got my party hat on. Um, the sun is in Virgo and it sextiles the moon. So it's a good day to focus on what needs to get done to get the results that you want. So do some work around the house. If there's stuff around the house that you need to get done, uh, you'll be pretty excited. And then after you've done all the good work on Saturday or Sunday, then allow yourself to go out and have fun. So Saturday, um, September 16th is also the same kind of energy. Um, however, the moon will move into Leo. So it's gonna be like super like fiery personality. You're gonna have the capacity to finally understand the things that have been like so unclear. That's been kind of in the back of your mind. And once that you have got clarity on the things that you didn't understand, it helps you better know exactly what you want and you are going to be so pumped up. You're going to be so passionate and excited because you realize what you want and because you have all this new information. So, uh, so where are all those fake people at? They're gone. Cause you know why? Cause they're being seen for who they actually are. So bye bye and hello, new friendships new relationships and and welcoming and making room for the tried and the true so i say fuck it to the fake let them go sunday the moon conjuncts the north node so this is what you've been feeling excited about maybe it's coming into the three-dimensional reality where you're going to be like super juiced and super excited about everything that's happening. 
So I kind of broke down the huge differences between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And now I am going to let you know the transits that are, are the common denominator for all weekend. So Uranus trines the moon, Venus, and Saturn. And I think Mars at some point. But you will be super, super passionate and excited and charged up um, from the weekend, which will recharge you for the work week. Be mindful, though, to not overextend yourself too much. Too much of anything is a bad thing. You will definitely be in the mood to show off your swagger or a good weekend to do things exhilarating. Skydiving, scuba diving, um, doing things that you would never do that gets your heart beating really fast. Um, the sun trines Pluto. So get that money. Make it rain, baby. Make it rain. The sun squares Saturn. So you'll most likely run into three dimensional obstacles today, which will help you know, like what tools that you're going to need to overcome those obstacles. So that in turn is usually a good thing. Hold on. It's my new mug. Normal people scare me. I love it. Um, Mars and Virgo is going to conjunct Mercury. So communications will be very clear and straightforward this weekend. So be careful not to be rude. Maybe slow down and think before you say things. Because you can still get your point across without being rude or offensive to others. And it's kind of that fighter type energy. Especially if, in your, if you're in relationships that are restraining and they're not like nurturing your growth and really being trusting and loving. That shit's not going to work this weekend. It's like, bye bye, go, go, go away. We have to learn how to be equals in relationships. And that video is coming out next because I was getting a lot of downloads um, this week while the moon's been in cancer because it's in my 12th. And I have some really cool stuff that I will be releasing but it's along the same kind of line. So Venus is in Leo and it's conjuncting the North Node. Okay, so I mentioned that before. So you're excited about your social status and it being amplified by your new partnerships. So if you've been wanting to go into business with someone or even a lover, it's a good energy to move that along. So even getting uh, together with your soulmates or twin flames and doing your soul's work together in the home is even a better energy for this kind because it's Venus conjuncting the North Node. What else? Venus. Oh, there's a huge grand, fi uh, grand fire trine all weekend as well. And it's trining, trining Jupiter as well. So the future of Venus is being expanded by luck in partnership. And it's giving hope and posit positive energy towards our future in love and money. And it's also another energy to want to play and socialize. Yeah, so being in the correct partnerships is going to directly reflect in your bank account. So to sum up, all of this fun weekend is shine your light, make connections, know your worth, and don't settle. You see positive opportunities in your near future, and you're anxious to finally get your payoff from all the hard work that you've been doing. Things will come into light, so that even the dark and the ugly, in turn, use the newfound information to help you overcome your obstacles. All right, guys, I hope that helps you this weekend in scheduling uh, Friday night and Saturday night are great days to celebrate and have fun even during the day why not um, if you want to do something exhilarating like skydiving I'll go ride some wild llamas just have fun and take risks and don't let the evil hold you back from the light and your freedom all right guys Make it a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday for next week's exciting report. All right, guys, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And if you like a personal reading with me, then you can email me and just let me know. I have free consultations. We can chat it up if I can help you out. All right, guys, make it a great weekend. I know you will. I know you will. <laughs>